What is up, everybody? Um, today I got for you the Wind of Prison Triple Feature featuring Chained Heat, Red Heat, and Jungle Warriors. Um, not that you can tell by the cover, but two of these star uh, Miss Linda Blair. Um, two also have John Vernon, and two also have Sybil Danning, which is pretty much a theme throughout the whole thing. Besides women in prison, got a lot of the same people in them. Um, first up, Chained Heat, uh, touted to be the best women in prison film ever made. I uh, don't know if that's the case or not, but it is certainly one of the best that I've seen. Um, stars Linda Blair, John Vernon, Sybil Danning. Tamara Dobson, who was Cleopatra Jones, uh, Henry Silva, Stella Stevens, and this is the first time it has been presented uncut in America. Um, Linda plays uh, Carol, am I correct? Carol, yes, Henderson. She is being sent to prison because she accidentally killed a man. Uh, I guess she hit him in the car, ran him over, killed him. Uh, of course, she's a prison virgin, and she has to learn the ropes of the prison, learn the ropes of how prison life is. Um, and you have your typical women in prison um, trappings. Uh, you have the girl that runs the show, played by Sybil Danning. Um, uh, you have your terrible staff. Stella Stevens is certainly uh, corrupt. She plays the head of security. Uh, she's certainly corrupt in many different ways. Um, John Vernon plays the warden, who is also pretty much a giant pervert. Um, he likes to bring inmates up to his uh, office, which is really really nice for a prison uh, it also has a hot tub in it he has his entire office covered in cameras and he likes to uh, get the women inmates uh, up there and film them while they you know do the deed um, a lot sleazier than I expected this one would be there's a lot of nudity um, a few rape scenes uh, violence is pretty prevalent. Um, it's definitely one of one of the best women in prison films I've ever seen. Uh, very well made, um, and the video quality on this looks pretty good too. So now, Chain Heat's the only one that has special features to it. It has uh, two interviews. One with Stella Stevens, the she plays the head of security in the, in the prison, and uh, Sybil Danning. Uh, now there is a, if you notice, this is a Mr. Skin Presents. So for each film, Mr. Skin will do a little introduction on uh, sort of like Joe Bob Briggs, but all about nudity. Um, so yeah, Chain Heat, winner. Um, Red Heat. <laughs> uh, Certainly different. Linda plays again, uh, just a girl in Germany. Her husband, or her fiance, is in the army, stationed in Germany. So she goes over there to meet up with him. Um, they get into a little bit of a of an argument. So she leaves the hotel room and happens to witness two men abducting a, a woman. They notice that she sees, and so they abduct her as well. And she goes to an East German prison. Um, where they believe her to be a CIA spy for America, which she tries to tell them and tell them that, no, 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 I'm not. I'm just I out. I had a fight with my boyfriend. I, I happen to be see something I shouldn't see. Well, they don't believe her. So basically they grind her down until she confesses. Um, again, you have your typical women in prison 
uh, stuff, uh, terrible staff, um, the girl that runs, runs shit, you know, um, certainly a lot more of a bleak tone to Red Heat, um, a little bit more, Chain Heat's kind of over the top and fun, um, whereas Red Heat is what I'm more used to with a lot of women in prison movies, uh, they just have this really bleak, bleak tone to them, a uh, much darker tone, a lot less fun, um, I guess if you would say, uh, but not a bad movie, um, it definitely is a little bit slower paced, um, but again, it's not terrible. Now, Jungle Warriors, this one is completely different. Not even a women in prison movie. There's like maybe 20 minutes in the movie where these females are in prison. Um, and it's not even a real prison. It's a drug dealer's basically holding cell. Um, basically a group of models uh, fly to South America to do a photo shoot. Their plane um, is shot down by these drug dealers. And... Uh, they end up getting captured by the drug dealer's cartel um, and taken back to his gigantic estate. Um, now, Sybil Danning is in this one along with John Vernon. Sybil Danning plays the drug dealer's brother, or, or I mean, sister, or half sister. There's a really weird thing with them where uh, brother and sister like to get physical, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so basically, the girls are imprisoned. Um, they believe that they are some sort of spies for the feds or this other uh, mafia organization that is that is coming to do a deal with these guys. So John Vernon happens to be the um, mafia don that's come to go make a deal with these cocaine dealers. Um, which of course they're not, they're just models, but they're tortured and raped and beaten and, and taken hostage, basically. Um, they escape and all hell breaks loose. Um, now the whole John Vernon thing is this kind of separate subplot that doesn't really have anything to do with anything. I guess it, when the girls are trying to escape, they kind of cause more mayhem because they're there trying to do a drug deal and neither side trusts each other, so it gets a little wild. Um, not a terrible movie. It was entertaining. Um, so that's about all I can really say. It's not a great film. It's not a terrible film. Um, it entertained me well enough. It would probably be one of the ones that not going to be watching a whole lot. Um, it did make me want to watch Scarface really, really bad. So, I don't know if it was just because of the cocaine thing or what, but... But, yeah. It made me want to do that. Um, and it probably looks the, 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 the worst out of all three of these. Um, so. But anyway, as a whole... I would say this is a pretty good set if you are into women in prison films, which I dig them. Um, and they certainly go in the right direction. Chain Heat's the best, then Red Heat, then Jungle Warriors. Um, few, very few special features, but um, they're all in widescreen and got some more trailers to them. And it wasn't a bad price, probably. I think I spent. I spent. Um, 20 something and this actually doesn't even come out until the 12th so um but yeah so women in prison triple feature pretty good buy check it out if for nothing else change heat have a good day